Hello aspirants. So today we are going to talk about China plus one. So you know that this term always remain in use, especially after COVID-19 or you can say pandemic. Now, as written in front of you, China plus one, will the dragon now make way for the, the elephant means for India. Okay. So will China make way for the India? So this is what we are going to discuss. Now, first of all, you must know what is China plus one. So basically, you know that due to pandemic, there is a disruption of global value chain. Okay. And after this disruption, some foreign companies which are situated in China, they forced to think that now they have to shift their base to another country. So we can say that disruption to global value chain. So GVC stands for global value chain. So global value chain has an important role to play in economy. Clear? So disruption to global value chain has forced the companies or you can say foreign companies to think and change their base to another country. So we want to see that has this disruption helped India? Has this disruption helped India? India to gain or you can say to help India to attract companies toward it. So first of all, we'll see which foreign companies or which sector or you can say whatever foreign companies we are talking about, which sector foreign companies are forced to think of. So if you look at that, there are three companies or three, three sectors which are thinking of like electronic, automobile and renewable energy. Okay. So remember, electronic, automobile and renewable energy. So these are the three sectors which were thinking of shifting their base from China to another country. Now what are those another countries where they were thinking of shifting their base? That is Vietnam. So there is a question on Vietnam also in UPSC immediately after COVID. Okay, Vietnam. Okay, Malaysia. Mexico and India. So these are the four countries where companies were planning to make their new base. So this is what China one plus strategy. Now, no doubt we have benefited. We have benefited from China plus one. from China plus one and we have two evidence for that. So for example, if you see in 2017, we are having a trade deficit with USA, especially if I talk about electronic sector. Okay. Now we have a trade surplus with USA in terms of electronic sector or what basically I am saying that we have increased our export of export of you can say electronic product so you can see here like india's electronic export to the us that is as shown by data under the hs85 category which you can say is prepared by us shifted from a trade deficit of about 300 million dollar in 2017 to a surplus of 3.12 billion dollar Okay, in 2022. So this is what is an evidence. And in that also you will see that within electronic, the largest increase came from the mobile phone 
द एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ विच टू द यू एस ग्रू बाय और हैज ग्रोन बाय फोर्टी एट परसेंट बिटवीन फिजिकल बिटवीन द फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ यू कैन से द एक्सपोर्ट हैज इंक्रीज सो दिस इज द एविडेंस दैट चाइना प्लस वन हैज बेनिफिटेड इंडिया क्लियर नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस another evidence so you can say that one evidence is that trade deficit trade deficit become trade surplus second if you know that apple iphone 15 which is in news nowadays okay so everyone is crazy for apple iphone 15 so apple iphone 15 production is you can say started or you can say we started doing the production in tamil nadu so this is another evidence that now apple has shifted its base in india clear so this is what you can say this is possible after the disruption of global value chain that is after pandemic clear so this is what you have to remember now no doubt in case of india it is not trade diversion which has benefited but it is pli scheme of the government of india so you can say one is you can say trade diversion okay so trade diversion has not played a major role okay so it is government pli scheme which has a major role to attract these companies okay so you can say pli scheme at this time and on the other side china one plus strategy so these two are the major factor for the above two benefits it is not trade diversion so in case of india trade diversion has not benefited but whereas in case of other countries trade diversion from china has benefited why because they already set up the global value chain but in case of india in 2018 the trade diversion has benefited to india also and this is the reason or why they have benefited because in 2018 there was us china trade war okay us china trade war okay and in that us china trade war there are three sectors which were badly impacted that is pharmaceutical chemical and metal sector and in all these three sector india has a global value chain or you can say more dominant in global value chain so you know india has good record in pharma similarly in chemicals also as well as in metals that is you can say mining of metals so ultimately india has a good role or good dominant position in global value chain so but with respect to these three industries that is your electronic renewable and automobile india does not have a dominant position in global value chain so those who are having a dominant position in global value chain they are the one they are the one who get benefit from trade diversion but in our case it is not trade diversion it is pli scheme and china 1 plus which has benefited clear so this is what you have to remember but if you see east asian economies like vietnam malaysia taiwan they have benefited from trade diversion okay so you can see in the slide also that how they have benefited so agar aap dekhoge if you see the relevance of gvc the beginning of some of the east asian gvc go back to the 80s even before the china occupied its space in the supply chain for example if you see by early 2000 malaysia has developed a significant presence in the electronic value chain similarly thailand has grown a niche in automobiles but if you see the case of india so india is you can say just working over that okay so india is just working over that clear or we'll see that india has taken some steps so basically if you see the success of east asian companies or east asian countries so east asian countries success depend on two things number one is trade cost reduction strategy trade cost
reduction strategy okay so it has benefited in terms of trade cost reduction strategy and number 2 investment investment facilitation strategy investment facilitation strategy so ultimately these two are the one which has benefited the most to the east asian countries now india is just working over that okay india is just working over that so trade cost reduction so you know that india right now is trying to reduce its logistic cost so this is what india is doing okay this is what india is doing okay so it means that in future okay so this is what india is doing that they are trying to reduce its logistic cost which east asian countries has done so many years back okay so it means it will take time okay similarly with respect to investment facilitation strategy they have taken so many initiative india has also taken the initiative pli but it is a new one so things need a time to settle down okay so if you see in india we have taken a or we have taken so many steps in order to improve logistical efficiency over the past decade so you will see that our ranking has improved from 54 number to 38 so in 2014 we stand at 54 but now we stand at 38 so this is an achievement for us next if you see india's strategy for investment facilitation is basically we have emphasized on pli scheme where you can say high quality foreign investment okay by creating a market link incentive structure for you can say we are working over that clear so this is what you have to know okay although india is working over trade cost reduction strategy and investment facilitation india has another advantage and what is that another advantage is that large local market okay and this large local market is due to you can say the india's young and expanding middle class okay so this is what you can say this young and expanding middle class is responsible for is responsible for creating potential demand to tap clear so this is what you have to remember clear now if india really want to become a part of global value chain so no doubt in electronics already already other countries has taken a dominant position so india can become a part of that but india in order to take the dominant position it will take time so if you talk about you can say malaysia thailand so they have set up so many years back so it took more than 30 40 years to achieve that dominant position and we are now at you can say at nascent stage or you can say in the beginning stage but there is still one vacuum where india can take a dominant position and that is renewable energy global value chain okay renewable energy global value chain and india has started working over that so if you see in renewable energy global value or renewable energy global value chain that space is totally you can say vacuum is there in that space so india can acquire a dominant position in that so you can say one way we can acquire or become a part of or dominant position global value chain so here if you see already india has taken step in that direction for example we have australia india free trade agreement so that is a step in that direction similarly we have us india clean energy partnership so again that is the another step that we have taken in that direction so this is what you have to tell to the examiner clear now in the end if you see there is 1 billion rise in export of green technology to the us since 2018 so this is what you can see even if you see we have taken another step like also if you see major us and european renewable manufacturers such as first solar vesta okay satec have begun 
ऑपरेशन इन इंडिया टू सीज द ग्रीन ट्रांजिशन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल तमिलनाडु रोप्ड इन टू न्यू फैक्ट्रीज फ्रॉम द डेनमार्क बेस्ड वेस्टा हु इज यू कैन से विच इज रिगार्डेड एज वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट विंड टर्बाइन मैनुफैक्चर नाउ फॉर यूर एग्जाम यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग्स लाइक फर्स्ट सोलर वेस्टा स्कैटेक ओके और यू कैन से डेनमार्क बेस्ड वेस्टा विच इज वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट विंड टर्बाइन मैनुफैक्चर बिकॉज समटाइम्स इन एग्जाम दे आस्क यू दैट फॉर टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ रिन्यूएबल और टू एक्वायर अ डोमिनेंट पोजिशन इन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ग्लोबल वैल्यू चेन वट स्टेप्स हैज बिन टेकन सो सो इन एग्जाम सम स्टूडेंट्स लाइक लाइक वी अट्रैक्टेड फॉरन कंपनीज बट इफ यू नो द एग्जैक्ट नेम ऑल्सो लाइक वेस्ता सो यू विल गेट मोर मार्क्स ओके सो हेयर दिस इज वॉट यूर पर्पज ऑल्सो क्लियर नाउ इफ यू सी यू कैन ऑल्सो इन एंड आई कैन से दैट इफ सपोज देर इज अ क्वेश्चन टू वॉट एक्सटेंड China plus one has benefited India. So if you have heard this lecture, or if you have heard this video, so you can easily answer this. So if this question comes in ten marks, so you have enough one fifty words. Okay, so you can write. So I hope you learn something that what is China plus one strategy. Okay, so if you see, so I hope you learn something that what is China plus one strategy. So apart from China, or you can say when companies will shift from China. in order to increase their global value chain part okay so india can take the opportunity so india has taken the opportunity no doubt and and as i told you that you can see in terms of increased increased export to the us so earlier in in electronic india is having trade deficit with us but now trade surplus so this is a great achievement for india second apple i15 production is you can say has started in tamil nadu so that is another great achievement in automobile automate in automobile thailand has acquired a dominant position so ultimately the chances to acquire that position will be a competitive one but renewable energy is a vacuum space where india can acquire and india has taken a step in that so ultimately using this you can attempt two types or two questions one is that how this china plus one strategy has benefited india and second what initiatives has been taken by the government in order to acquire dominant position in renewable energy global value chain so these two type of questions you can easily tackle so i'll write for you in the board how china plus one strategy okay has benefited india okay second steps what steps what steps taken by government of india to acquire a position in renewable energy global value chain third if you see if question comes what is or are the relevance of global value chain for a country so here you have to quote that how east asian countries that how east east asian countries okay help to increase the export okay so how east asian countries help to increase the export okay so this is what you have to answer okay so these are the things that you have to answer in this question okay so ultimately 
in the east asian country so we have to learn from the east asian countries that they have followed two strategies so which i have already mentioned on the board that what are those two stra two strategies that is trade cost reduction strategy and investment facilitation strategy okay so we can learn from that so which india has al already taken steps in terms of logistic policy okay logistic policy so you know that already already government efforts has helped us to improve our ranking in logistic index and second government has taken a step with respect to pli plus when we come talk about investment facilitation so government is now attracting investment also like in the form of by setting up gift city okay by setting up gift city clear so these are the things that you have to mention in this question clear so this is what you have to mention okay now i hope you learn something okay and if you have any doubt you can contact me on my or you can approach me on my instagram page okay economy underscore himanshu so you can message me there you can message me there i'll reply you within 24 hours okay but but again whatever doubt you have with respect to this topic even in general you have any other doubt with respect to upsc preparation or economy subject then you can message me there itself clear so i hope you like the class so we'll meet soon till then jai hind and have a nice day